In order to be effective, every KPI needs a target. The very definition of a KPI says a KPI is a quantifiable measure of performance over time for a specific objective. That is why today I'm going to show you four different visuals in which you can show if you've met or not a target. For the first variation, you need to start with one of the new cards. Select it, add your total sales measure, and let's start formatting. I'd like to start from top to bottom. So size and style, padding, and I'd like to add a 10 pixels on each side. Then turn on the visual border, make it the same color of the background, and a 10 pixels rounded corners. This will give it a bit of a modern look. Next, we have the title. Turn it on and the title will be sales. I will change the font, the size, and for this one, I'd like to go with a darker theme. So I'll choose a black background and the white color for the text. And finally, I will center the title to the middle. Then I would like to add a divider. And for this, I will choose this orange make it a bit wider and the last thing i want to do is to increase the spacing below the title to 10 pixels now that we finished to the title let's move to the call out values first i will change the font to sigui ui bold the color will stay the same and i'll center the text i'll turn off the label as it's no longer necessary now that we finished with it you might say there is nothing to indicate if we hit the target or not and for that, we need to use the reference labels. So open reference labels, select total sales, and we will add a measure that returns the percentage we are above or below target. Now that we've selected it, turn off the title. In the value area, let's change the color to a measure that returns red when the percentage is negative and green when the percentage is positive. Let's play a bit with the size. Let's say we want to make it size 16. We'll make it bold. And then what we want to do is select all and then remove the background. And the last thing that we want to do in cards is remove the border. Now all there's left to do is play a bit with the size. And this is the first variation done. For the second variation, we will use the standard gauge. For the value, we will add the total sales. For the maximum value, we will add the measure that returns the maximum value of a year, regardless of the year in the selection slicer. And for the target value, we will add the measure that returns the target for this year. Now, let's start formatting and we will do pretty much the same things that we've done before with the size and style meaning a 10 pixel padding on each side adding a visual border and changing the color to the color of the background and the 10 pixels rounded corners next let's move to the title and the title should read sales target change the font again size 16 now for this one I'm thinking to go with the let's say purple theme. So we'll have a purple background for the title, a white color for the text and center it. Of course add the divider and for this I will use a lighter purple. Again size 2 width. Now that we finished with this let's move on to colors. For the fill color I will choose a lighter purple and for the target color I will choose a light gray. Now for the data labels what I want to do is make them ever so slightly smaller. Let's say size 10. And then for the target label I want to change it to a color that stands out so we will go with this orange. Of course the text we will make bold and slightly larger let's say size 14. And the final thing we need to take care of is the callout value. And for this, I will use Sigui UI bold font and I will use black as color. Again, you can play with the size of it and fit it to your report. For the third variation, what we need to use is one of the 100% stacked bar chart. Now for the x-axis, we will use the total sales 
and a measure that returns the difference between the total sales and the target. Now it's all about formatting, so we'll change the padding and then we'll add the visual border, same color, rounded corners, 10 pixels and we will move to the title and here we can get a bit creative. We can say the title is sales. I'll use the same font that I used before with the same size. S1 for example we will go with the darker grey theme. The color of the text will be white. We will align it to the right this time. And I've mentioned we can get creative. So let's turn on the subtitle and it's instead of the auto text we can select the measure that returns our total sales in a format that allows it to be displayed correctly. Now we will change the font, we will change the size, we'll align it to the right and change the color to white. Lastly, my good old trusted divider, you know the drill, orange color, something that stands out with two. Next, in the y-axis, we want to remove any values or titles. I know they're not there, but just to be on the safe side. And the same goes for the x-axis. Next, we need to remove the legend as we don't need it. So far, yes, it shows something, but not necessarily what we want to see. So before we get there, let's change the colors of the bars. First of all, for the total sales, we will use a darker gray. And for the two target, we will use a lighter gray. What we want to do next is turn off the data label. Select the total sales and in value turn it on and instead of the total sales we will return the same measure that we used previously that returns the percentage we are above or below target. Now we want to make sure the color is white. Let's make it the size 10 and we want to turn off the detail. Now let's move to the two target side and turn off the detail from this one as well. And there you have it, you can play a bit with the size again. If you want to change the bar width, all you have to do is go to bars, select all, and then in layout, you can reduce or increase the space between categories. You can reduce it to zero or take it all the way back to 75%. I will leave it to zero for this occasion. Now the fourth variation, it's something that is made out of two visuals. The first one is the donut. Now for the values, we will use the total sales and the two target. You know the drill, start with size and style, padding, visual border, change the color, rounded corners, 10 pixels. Now let's move on to the title. And for the title, we can say sales target. Again. Choose the font that you like. I go with the green UI semi bold. Center it. This one, I'll go with the green theme. Text color would be white. It's centered. I'll turn on the divider. I'll use a very light green. Make it wider. We still have the spacing. Let's add five more pixels and make it 10. Now that we've done all this, we need to turn off the legend as we don't need it. We need to turn off the detail labels as we don't need them. And we need to take care of the slices. For the slices color, I will choose a green for the total sales and a light gray for the two sales. Now you see that over here we have spacing and if we increase it let's say to 80 it will make the inner circle a bit bigger. But again you might say this doesn't help us at all we don't have any information if we hit the target or not. And here is what you need to do. Add a regular card, resize it to fit in the donut doesn't have to be 100% perfect now. And all you have to do is add the same measure that we used before, the one that returned the percentage we are above or below target. And for this one, size and style is pretty simple. Turn off the background. And then we move to the callout value and we need to change the font and the size to make sure that the text fits right where we need it to fit and turn off the category label. For the color of the text, we can use the same conditional formatting measure that we used before that returns a red color when we are below target and green color when we are above target. Now all that's left to do is play a bit with the size and position, center it and that's about it. And here are four variations of a visual that can show if a target was met 
or not. Now feel free to choose whichever you like or whichever fits better with your KPIs. And speaking of these two KPIs, if you want to see how you can create them, I'll put a link for both of them in the description box below. This is Talian signing off until next time. You know the drill. Like, subscribe, comment. See you next time. Cheerio.